good. I came down here to talk to a detective. They were supposed to have been working on the case and ain't nobody got in touch with me yet. All right, did they call you? Like no. Oh, who did you speak with? I didn't speak with anyone. I came down here on the 22nd of December and made a police report against the hate speech and uh, I was verbally assaulted. Okay, do you have your report number? Telling you if something don't get done, I'm going right across the street and start taping. <coughs> I want that back. Yep, you're gonna get it back. So, ladies and gentlemen, I can't come in for whatever reason. I don't know why, but they won't let me in. So this is how they treat paying tax, people who pay taxes, this is how they treat them. I'm not even allowed to go into the dang on lobby. What kind of mess is that? <clears throat> they have no respect for the community, only the ones that kiss their butt. Yeah, you guys are going to be on YouTube. Please believe that. I want to make another police report against the same guy. I just went down to CVS to get my medicine and he called me a stupid bitch. I don't know why y'all don't never come and get this man off of over there by CVS. Okay, uh, where's the CVS at? On, um, uh, I think it's Florence and McNichols, Florence and Grover. Okay. It's all Schaefer and Grover. Now this time, I guess there was somebody else down there with him. Now I talked to the lady, she said that she is not a group home. She said this man rents a room from her. Okay. But I guess somebody went and got her because I told him, you always calling me out my name, so you're not going to make no money down here. So I started telling people he's a racist. Don't give him any money. Mm -hmm. He started calling me a stupid bitches, and then the lady came and told him to go home. So you covering for him, y'all covering for him. If black folks said something about some, some other nationality, we be in jail, but it's all right for a man to call me a nigger bitch and all this stuff? No, not at all. Okay, well, what's going so, on with the detective? I'm about to... You were, I'm so upset. I, so, I understand. And I came to talk to you and let you know what's going on. How come I can't talk in there? Well, I'm, I'm not good enough to go in there? Rules, no, our rules that we have set in place. That's why, ma'am. Okay. All right. So, the supervisor <laughs> that's going to be over this is here after 3 o'clock. So, if you want to come back after 3... Okay, I'll come back at the three and make another report. All right, it's not a problem to talk with the supervisor then and figure everything out, okay? So just at the moment, he's not here until after three. So this person who you have to speak about this is not here at this moment, that's why, okay? And then, so what happened? So you went into the store, trying to pay I went the in, store. No, I went into the to CVS. Mm -hmm. And uh, I say, you back down here again? And uh, he didn't say anything. And I went into the store, I went into CVS to see if my medicine was ready. They said that it wasn't. So I'm like, you know what, you're not going to keep making money off my people. You calling me out my name and you asking black people for money because he's white. So, all right. <clears throat> so is it the, see, all right, I'm kind of confused. So it's right guy. off Schaefer. No, no, I understand that part. I'm saying the guy, does he work there? No, he's a panhandler. So, I mean, I'm just kind of confused because, <clears throat> because if it's a CBS you frequent and everything like that, um, why would you let someone like deviate you from going to the store that's outside? I'm just asking just questions just to see. I, I don't what care. What I'm saying is it has nothing to do with deviation. 
If I ask, if you ask me for money and I tell you I don't have it, that's no reason for you to call me a nigger bitch. I understand. I can put So it that's the whole premise of this. Mm -hmm. So when I go down there, then you won't make no money whenever I come down here. I was going on about my business. You turned around and called me a stupid bitch. I got it all on body cam. Yeah. So you, you're actually, as far as I'm concerned, you're harassing me when I come down there. Mm -hmm. So I'm telling you, you're not making any money off my people. You call it went black women out their names when they don't give you money. So I stand in front of, I stood in front of the store just like him. This was on the 22nd. This been going on since the 14th of December. Mm -hmm. On the 14th, he called me a nigger and flipped me the bird. Mm -hmm. Then I had to go back down there and get some more medicine. Then he forgot he who I was because I'm always changing up my style. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you just asked me for money. Why you why, why talk? Like, just ignore him. What you mean, ignore him? No, I'm saying, if he didn't say nothing to you. Or he he like, did. This is what he, give me a dollar. For one, that ain't even no way to be asking people for money. Mm -hmm. I understand. No, you don't understand. No, I do understand because that's not the right way you approach people if you want to ask for something. Beggars can't be choosers. You know what I'm saying? I can't no, I don't what know what you're saying. So, if someone, if someone wants to ask you for something, right, are you going to come to them nicely or are you going to come at them aggressively? Let me tell you something. Like okay. I said, the first time I told him no and he called me a nigger. I, I understand The what you're second saying. time I told him no and he called me a nigger bitch. Mm -hmm. So, what do you mean? How come I'm no, not... No, because you said something. You said, oh, you're here again? I'm just asking questions about that. Like, conversing with him. Why not just... Go ahead and get your because the reason I said that today is because the police was supposed to have been investigating this. Okay, and if he's not there when we go there, then what? You got his address. I, I followed him home. You got his address. You got everything you need. Okay, I understand that. Like no, said, you don't because I, you, you don't. You don't. Nobody called you a nigger bitch. No white man called you a nigger bitch. So you don't understand. Man, you don't know what I've been through, okay? I'm, I don't know you're you're not a black through. woman. I know yeah, that. I'm a black man in America as well. Okay, so I understand. I'll come back. Thank you. Not a problem. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I come down here to the Detroit Police Department on Schaefer, the Schaefer Station. Every time I come down here, I got to hear some type of mess about how I shouldn't be paying attention to nobody, how everybody, you know, it's all right for some white man to call me out my name and I should just ignore them. So ladies and gentlemen, this police station is full of crap. Every time I come down here, people like that is talking crazy to me.